Canyon, $150 very well spent to get this thing put in professionally. And it looks freaking great. It trims in there nice, seals in there nice. It looks really good. Um, by watching these guys, I learned a lot about how I'm going to do the back windows because um, it's all pretty much the same. It's just this one was because it has this curve on it here. It's it's very very like these spots here are pretty difficult to get it to go. So they're doing a lot of that, trying to get it to set in there. But you know, I got a lot of tip. I got a lot of uh, information by watching these guys work. But this looks really good. I'm super happy with this. And the nice thing about it is, unlike the one that came on the car. Originally, if I maybe I got it on the video for the first one or the first video was that there was literally a gap here and the seal like stopped right there. No more gap. It's, it's actually sealed up now. And I say it looks pretty damn good, man. The trim didn't fall out. Um, I was thinking that I would have to like tape it down in in um, in like preparation for them to come. But they just like, I was like, all right, here's the glass. And they just picked it up and knew exactly what to do. And they say they do, you know, old Volkswagens and Mustangs. And they all have, the windows all go in the same way. So easy, done. One less thing to worry about. Now onto the many other little things that I have to fix. But at least I have a windshield. Let's talk from bumpers. Um, got the reinforcement in here with the gators painted up so they look halfway decent. That's in there. That attaches to the rear or the front bumper. There's two mounts under here. You can't see them. So I got two bumper blades here for the front. That's the original one. And that's the one that I got for like 70 bucks, which is a screaming deal as far as I'm concerned. So the plan is run one and then eventually take the other one off to the chromer to get redone. That's the plan anyways. So I'm going to run the best one. The original one has that horrible rust thing right there. A bunch of waves and dents on it that I don't like. But mainly it's that horribleness down there. This one, no rust, but it's got a bunch of dents there in the front all the way down. So it's nowhere near perfect, but it is better than that one. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off all the brackets and I'm going to choose the best ones to use, which I think are actually off the bumper that, uh, that came with the car, not the um, one that I just got, and paint those up. Get them rust protected and just make, I think I have some rust bullet left over. I might just use, yeah, I do. I might just use that if it's still good. Um, and yeah, get those painted up. Test to make sure that these horns work. I have two different styles. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I guess whichever one works. Um, and then put the bumper back on and drill some holes and put the, uh, put the fog lights in there. And I don't really... Yeah, I'm just going to drill holes. I don't want to go through the process of getting those custom mounts that go to the brackets and all that shit for an extra $190. I'd rather just drill holes in my bumpers and just be done with it. Whatever. The results are as follows. One rub strip off. That's foobard. Those are good. And a whole mess of broken bolts. But... They're all free, and now I'm just gonna clean up those brackets and uh, get them all situated. And actually, I think I'm gonna use this horn because this one's mount decided to snap off. So I guess that made my choice pretty easy for me, didn't it? So wire, maybe wire wheel, probably at least scuff those guys up put some paint on them um, and get that bumper reinstalled that's it people use the term California chrome before 
And this is what I think it is. Just flaky and not so great. Um, but still, this is the underside of it. it. Sort of sucks, but in the grand scheme of things, this is the better bumper to use, so I'm still going to run with it. So, being that, this bumper is going to... Oh yeah, and I painted my brackets. Um, being that this bumper is going to be off at another point in time in its life um, to when eventually I decide I'm going to send in the core, the other core, to have it straightened and re-chromed, whatever the hell that is, because it's going to be about 500 bucks a bumper. Um, and I don't want, I'm not in a big hurry to spend that money. So whenever I decide to do that, this bumper has to come back off. So I'm trying to hedge my bets here. And I have stainless bolts and a good amount of anti-seize. So hopefully that'll make it so when I do remove these things, um, they're not too they're not too bad. So I couldn't find metric um, carriage bolts. So I just got these guys. They're just Allen keyed. Uh, they basically have the same dome as a uh, carriage bolt, but this will allow me to take it off a whole lot easier. And yeah, it'll tighten up much better than a carriage bolt, anyways. So I think that's what I'm going to run with. So I'm just going to redo all of the bolts here with stainless and anti seize, tighten it all up, and then pop it on. Oh, and the horn doesn't work. The horn's broken, so I need to get another one of those. I might be stopping early today just out of frustration because oh, things are happening. So, let's chat about these bumpers. So, this is the new one that I got. That's the old one I got. Those black brackets that I just painted now don't fit either bumper. They just don't work. Those shitty old ones right there, they do work on this one. I haven't tried them on the, on the original bumper from this car. I haven't tried them yet, but they might. But I don't know why those brackets now all of a sudden don't work. Because they were working when I test fitted them. So I kind of don't know what's going on with that. And these are the original ones from there, so I don't know. Unless, like, that one was missing a bolt. And one of these ones was missing a bolt, so maybe it just... It was always bent and it never worked right. And the only way they could get it to work right, whoever owned the car before me was just to have one of these brackets without a bolt and just have it flopping around and just saying the hell with it. So that's that. Second thing, this bumper is too small. It won't clear uh, the sides of the car. So looking at it as like these two center holes sort of lined up, you can sort of see what I mean if you go over here. This one is the new one and it cuts off, it kind of curves in way sooner than this one, which is out a little bit further. And it was touching on the side of the bumper, this one, when I had it on there. So this one doesn't fit. It's just too small, it's too narrow. And that's probably my fault somehow. That's somehow probably my fault. So what do I do? Well, eventually, and I'm not going to do it today because I'm just so damn frustrated, is I'm going to put those old shitty ones on the old, the old, the original bumper and see what happens. And if it fits and it clears, then okay, I guess I'm just going to have to run with that bumper. And that's just the end of it. Um, and I'm not going to have a bumper to use in between. I'm just not going to have it. Um, when I decide to eventually get that thing chromed and straightened, I guess I'll just have to run without a bumper, and that's fine. Also, this guard, this reinforcement, I'm not too sure it's correct because it does sort of slope up a little bit, and I don't know. I don't know if this thing is 100% correct or not. Oh, but another thing that these mounting tabs at the bottom here, when I had it, this bumper kind of on, uh, these were, these just didn't line up with the, with the holes that were on there. So 
I think that this is either from a Carmen Ghia or from an older Squareback or a Type 3. I don't know. I'm, my mind tells me it's probably from a Ghia, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this one just isn't going to work. It's too thin or it's too narrow. That one will work. It is wide enough. Obviously, it was on the car before, but something screwy is going on with the mounts that I have to fix. I have to figure that out. Um... So yeah, that's it for today. I am done working on this thing for now. Thing to note is the guards here. Um, if only I could combine these two into one, I would have a, a perfect one, but I don't. So this is the one that I bought, and there's a center mount where a, like, it looks like a, a machine or a, a sheet metal screw goes in, but on this one, it's all rusted to shit, and whatever it was mounting to is just gone. On this one you can see that, um, just where is it? it does exist, it's just a small hole in there. So that's the center mount, but what I don't like about these ones, the ones I had, is this, is that there's a hole drilled in there which I don't think was factory because it wasn't on this one here, it's all smooth. But obviously the guys who uh, had this car before me did have the bumper guards, the ones that are vertical. He did have those installed, and I guess that's how we figured out how to do it, which would work, but I don't have them, so I guess he took them off before he gave it to me and just left me with this uh, weird rub strip. So when I do decide what bumper I use, I'm probably just going to use this one and this one, I don't know. Unless I can find some rub strips around there, or what? What? No, the the bumper guards. Unless I can find those, then I'll I'll run them. But I didn't think this car came with those. But I don't know. Just more mysteries and more. I think I will be able to put a front bumper together on this car, based on the parts that I have. But it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. Bumper. It's not great, but it's better than that one. So this is the one that I sent away for. Oh, by the way, Krapfen. Um, it means donut. It's like a German donut. I figured that was a fun thing to name my car. So it's on there. So a little tip about putting these on is brackets first. Don't tighten them up. Brackets first, and then... Put, lay the bumper on top of it and line up all bolt holes. Don't put the brackets in first and then like put, put the brackets in with the bumper on it and try to align it. It'll never go. Brackets first, then bumper. There's plenty of room in here for you to reach across and tighten up these bolts. So It's not bad. It's just like ugh. Eventually I'm going to have to take this off and redo it but it's okay for now I guess so what's left to do is underneath here the uh, take a look here uh, the bumper support thing this thing I want to push it forward a little bit as much as possible and then bolt it and then like I have to drill holes because this one doesn't have holes for it but drill a hole there and one there that just hold this in place because how it was running before it didn't have this it was literally just up against the uh, beam there so at least there there's a little bit of travel there because obviously you can see that it's been it's been running into it for a while or before I came so um, it needs yeah it needs to have be properly bolted into place so I gotta go and drill holes for that and then I'm going to drill holes on top of here for finally these. And then I'll try and figure out where I want to like align them, but it's cool. Almost there.